Hey guys, it's Nick. Welcome to another episode of T-365. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to set up the connectors for Microsoft Defender and Azure Defender within the Azure Sentinel portal here. Azure Sentinel's Microsoft 365 Defender connector with incident integration allows you to stream all of the M365 Defender incidents and alerts into Azure Sentinel. And it keeps those incidents synchronized between both portals. M365 incidents include all of their alerts, entities, and all of the relevant information and they are enriched by and group together alerts from M365 Defender's component services, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, Defender for Identity, Defender for Office 365, and Microsoft Cloud App Security. The connector also lets you stream advanced hunting events for Microsoft Defender for Endpoint into Azure Sentinel, allowing you to copy Defender for Endpoint advanced hunting queries into Azure Sentinel, enrich Sentinel alerts with Defender for Endpoint raw event data to provide additional insights, and store logs with increased retention in log analytics. So lots of cool capabilities there. I'm here within the Azure Sentinel portal and I can scroll down into the Microsoft Defender section here. It's in preview right now, but you can click on it and you can open this connector page to see more of the information about Microsoft Defender and the requirements in order to turn on this connector. This is going to activate all of the sub products as well, such as the endpoint, Identity Officer 65 and security. So by turning this on, you do not have to subsequently go and turn on these other connectors as well too. That's not a hard requirement here. Like they show here, you do have the ability to tack on the advanced hunting queries and streamline those into Azure Sentinel. The other ones are looking to be coming soon here as well, but you can at least streamline the incidents that you get into your portal here so that you don't have to worry about traversing back and forth, or if you do have teams working out of Azure Sentinel and out of Microsoft 365 Defender Portal, you have that integrated experience to streamline the updates that are going on with those alerts and maybe comment history as well too. So I can update that successfully. And then when I go back to my page here, I'll start to have those incidents come through after a little bit of propagation time as well. So you can see here, I'm just getting ones from Azure Defender that I've set up, but over time, you'll begin to get those incidents directly within your portal. Back on that page though, I did want to touch on the Azure Defender piece as well, in case you wanted to set that up in your environment here. So I can click in to Azure Defender as well, which will pull this up and I can open up the connector page. And just like before, I have the ability to toggle this on. And so I have my various Azure subscriptions here. If you don't, you may just have one Azure subscription that you can use to connect. And all you need to do is turn this on and I can see that I have some of the Defender plans enabled and I could include the bi-directional sync as well, which is in public preview at the time of this recording. So you can actually enable Azure Defender directly from here, but I recommend actually doing that from the Azure Security Center page as well. And from there, you can gather the incidents directly from within your portal here too. Once there's been enough time for this to propagate, you'll begin to see those product names come through here and you'll begin to see the incidents that are within the Defender Security Center translate back over into Azure Sentinel and you'll be able to view much of the same information here that you were in the other portal, which is saying that you can see the sequence of alerts, you can see all the alerts that compose this particular incident, you can see the full scope, everything like that. So there's a lot of customizability here that you have at your disposal. If you're not adopting the entire Defender product offering, you could simply add data connectors for the subset product offerings. So that is to say that they have connectors for the individual data points like Defender for Identity, Defender for Endpoint, Cloud App Security, things like that. So just keep in mind that if you were to go in and update these based off of the isolated configuration, you may actually have some additional steps that you need to take here. Like you can see under the Cloud App Security Sentinel portal, you need to configure this security extension. So if I go into the security portal now, what I'll do is under more resources here, I'll go into the Cloud App Security section. So if I go into the Cloud App Security portal, I'll go under the settings here and I'll go under security extensions. And under Sim Agents, I'll add one and I'll click on Azure Sentinel. And I'll stream this data here. I can click on next. And that is it. So I have this connection set up now and this is going to stream the data from Cloud App Security. I wanted that isolated security stack as far as just getting Cloud App Security versus the entire Defender offerings pulling through. 
So that's everything that I wanted to showcase for you guys in today's lesson. Stay tuned for my final lesson. We'll be walking you through the key benefits and pricing for Azure Sentinel. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.